this little self set up, I am going to make sure I'm in Facebook just in case we get people asking questions. I think we are live. So let me see here. Okay. Yay. Perfect. I think we're good. Can you hear me okay? Mm -hmm. Yay. Hi. Hi. Okay. So we are good to go, everybody. This is Dr. Adrian Cook, and you're outside of Seattle area, yeah? Yep, in Seattle. Fantastic. My old hometown. I consider Seattle like one of my one of my hometowns. I feel like I have several hometowns, like Portland, Seattle, Austin, and then the East Bay. <laughs> but anywho, do you want to introduce yourself and just let people know who you are and what you're doing in the world? Yeah. Um, so I'm Dr. Adrian Cook. I've been, um, I went to Bastyr University and graduated from there in 2007. And I'm a licensed naturopathic physician in Washington State. Um, I did primary care for um, probably close to 13 years. Um, as a naturopathic physician and was in a couple larger group practices um, and worked with, you know, a lot of colleagues, which was really great. Um, and um, I got to the point to where I wasn't a fan of what I was doing. And um, I didn't really like yeah. being, being that busy um, and being so crazy. And it wasn't, I didn't really like doing primary care. Um, and I always wanted to do more. And, um, and in that setting, I did too much and got really burned out um, because I was doing a lot for everyone and it wasn't, um, just wasn't sustainable. And I left the group practice yeah. and, and started a private practice, but I didn't really do anything different um, with the model. And so um, that was really kind of the piece was like, oh, I'm just like recreating the same, this same exact um, set up and I'm just going to do the same thing. Um, yeah. And I think so there's a lot to be said too, just around like us trying as, as NDs, I know, cause I intimately know, cause I have that history too. I'm just like trying to fit into this box that like wasn't made for us, right? Like with the primary care and like the insurance and all of this stuff. And so it's like, mm -hmm. we learn all of these modalities. We have all of these tools in our toolbox and it's so frustrating because we're trying to like fit it into these little yeah. time slots and these medical necessity CPTs, you know, all of these things. And we're just like, oh my God, but I'm not, not doing what I could be doing or I, I'm not helping this person how I could be helping this person. And it's just like insanely frustrating. Yeah. Yeah. It got yeah. to be really, really hard, but then I didn't really, you know, when I went on my own, I like left all my colleagues and, but I really just kind of set up the same exact system that I didn't like. So I was like, well, and I said, I didn't do primary care, but at the same time, it was like, not really that different. And what it seemed to turn into during the pandemic was just like prescription refills. And I was like, oh, they just want like a prescription refill. They don't even want like all the other things I have to offer anymore right. and so that was really Which kind of makes you feel like a little <laughs> bit used like like I, I mean it like feels a little dirty I, to a me, little dirty. Kind of like, like energetically the, dirty like uh, ugh, this just like doesn't feel right <laughs> I mean that's really easy right but um but then they don't want to visit and so I know right. like, well, I'm I can't work for free um and uh, my time to be compensated for, you know, something. So um, that's when I was really kind of starting just to look for something different. And, mm -hmm. um, you know, it's like, okay, what, what do I want then? And how do I want to make things different? Um, how, you know, but I didn't really know like what I, what to do. Cause I, I, I just knew what I knew how to do. Um, yeah. And so that's when I was like interviewing different, coaches and different programs and um you know and came across you um with your mentorship and so it's kind of really felt like in alignment at the time of like what I was looking for and you know just kind of having a different perspective on on things on on how they could actually uh grow and and be different 
Yeah. I think it can be super hard sometimes, or what I found is like, it can be much easier to identify what we don't want, especially when we're in that like grind of like, I have so many patients, like this is what I'm doing. This is all I've ever been shown. This is the only opportunities that I have ever thought possible. Right. Until you end up like interacting with someone like a mentor or someone who's in a different place from you. And you're like, wait, there's like a whole new world of possibilities here. Like this, this can look very different and be so much more fulfilling without having to like stick into this box or this bubble or this expectation or this um, societal norm that we're so used to. Right. And it's Mm -hmm. like, yeah, I think it's, it's like, that's one of the reasons why I love working with people also like mentors or people in different industries, even, especially even just to like, see like what's happening, like, what are the possibilities? Where can I kind of like dismantle my, you know, limiting beliefs or my own sort of like tunnel vision. So yeah, I love that. I love that you were doing that. <laughs> Do I have a delay because of my internet? Oh no, it's okay. <laughs> Probably. I just didn't know if you were gonna ask something or <laughs> yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. So prior to prior to the mentorship, you were saying like you were feeling stuck, you were feeling just like totally stretched thin, um, not fulfilled in what you were doing. And then also the pandemic hit. And so there was just like a lot of things kind of piling on. Is that right? Yeah, I mean, I, like, I knew when I knew I was kind of like before the pandemic that things had to change. And, Mm -hmm. um, and so, you know, I, I left and started a private practice. And, and so I like got out out of the grind. um, But then I wasn't really doing anything different. And it wasn't fulfilling. Yeah. Um, And then with the pandemic, it just, it just really like, it really wasn't much of a practice um um kind of after that with everyone just like in lockdown and so yeah yeah, so I felt like the grind had stopped it but then I was like okay I want to shift but I didn't really know where to where to shift Mm -hmm. um you know when I was already you know doing telemedicine um and so you know I just felt like I would just wanted to do it just a little bit differently um it was kind of like you were put into a position where you had to make a choice (laughs) it's like well this isn't working anymore so (laughs) yeah I mean I I it's you know it's I could have kept it that way but it just is like I want to be fulfilled by it and I want to you know I'm I'm really invested in my patients and what I do and I put a lot of time and effort into them um, I really have like, I really like analytical stuff and like to do a lot of functional lab testing and putting things together and like seeing this big picture. And, um, for some reason it just like, it just stopped, you know, like I just wasn't able to do that. And, um, and so just kind of coming up with a different model of how to do that was, I think was really kind of good timing. Yeah. Yeah. Perfect timing. Yeah. I love that. So how, how do you feel like the mentorship helped you or like, what did it provide you specifically? Yeah. Yeah, I think like kind of the biggest thing was really like just being like, like you're able to show like what you did, Mm -hmm. but at the same time was like, okay, like, what do you, what do you envision? And like, what do you want? And what do you envision for, for what you want? And, and I think like, I don't, I don't know if I really am like, oh, I could do whatever I want. Like, (laughs) I didn't really think about it that way. Like, um, and, and, you know, you had said like, you don't, this is what I'm doing, but like, you don't have to do what, what I'm doing, you know, like create what you want. And so I think just like having that like Mm -hmm. mental shift and just being like, oh, I can create what I envision. 
um, I think that was like really the biggest um, shift. And, um, and it was actually like a really creative process. Um, and I feel mm -hmm. like it was like one of the most creative things I've done professionally, because I don't, I feel like, okay, we do like a lot of analyzing, a lot of writing and like all this like brain work, but I mm -hmm. feel like I never really had that like creative side of it. And so that was like kind of, that was really fun just to kind of like actually like create, like make a, make a little baby. Uh, yes. <laughs> well, I just got chills. Yes, totally. <laughs> like, like, oh, I, I did this, like I made this and this is kind of what I envisioned and, you know, I can see it like constantly, you know, developing and growing and, you know, tweaking. Yes. Um, yes. I think that's such a good point right there. I think that so many people think when they need, need to, when they get to do sort of visioning exercises or creative exercises, that it's like the, whatever you create or envision, like for some reason it needs to be static. Like that's the thing and it can never change. Right. But that's why I encourage you guys to revisit like every quarter, at least twice a year, like revisit that vision. Cause it's so cool to look at it and be like, whoa, this actually has already happened or like I've already achieved this or actually this sounds really good now. I'm going to tweak this or I'm going to refine this and like be able to kind of pivot wherever feels best, right? Like it doesn't have to be like, that's when our like left brain comes back in and it's like, mm -hmm. things have to be a certain way. <laughs> and it's like, no, no, no. <laughs> like this is like, you get to actually have some fluidity here. Mm -hmm. Well, it's like, well, I, if I don't like it, then I'm like, oh, I can change it. Cause I'm the one, I'm the one who made it. Right. Right. <laughs> right. Exactly. I'm like, oh, I can just re redo this thing. So, but yeah, I think it's been really fun that way. Like just like different programs and, um, you know, just different writing and using pictures differently. Like it's kind of, you know, just fun in that way. But, yeah. you know, I think having the, just also just the, just like meeting the different people, I think was really a big piece and like being really helpful. Um, the people that you have in the group. Um, and it sounds like you even have more people like kind of popping in. But I think like that was really like kind of like surprising and also really helpful even just having, um, you know, like Christine um, and having like the psychologist in there and the mm -hmm. hypnotherapy, like just like having you pull from your other resources. I think um, it was, um, it's kind of like surprising in a way for me at first was like, oh, but also just felt like even more support. And then even mm -hmm. the other people in the program just felt like more of like a community and um, you know, that we were all really, like, really helping each other build like kind of our, our dream, you know, and yeah. what we wanted, which is really cool. Yeah. Uh, the community is just like, it's so important because as you know, you know, the online space can seem so lonely. Like, it's just like, where, like, where do I like ask my questions? Like, where do I find the right resource for this thing? Or like, where do I connect with people who actually know what I'm going through right now because it's like we're we're managing this online world and online space which is in and of itself its own beast but then mm -hmm. also that like small business owner entrepreneur like that's its own thing too right and sometimes you have you know I don't know but it, it's just a lot it's a lot to try and deal with on our own and so it's so nice to have people who are like I've got you you've got this like let's go <laughs> you know mm -hmm. yeah yeah. yeah, it was and nice because like we definitely like met new people and feel like I created like some new friendships, um, but also like got to revisit like some older friends that I knew um, and reconnect with them. So it's kind of interesting to see like kind of people like um, at the same, just kind of like kind of same part in time and it's like oh you're <laughs> you're here too <laughs> like okay yeah. meet, meet again um <laughs> so we're all kind of like caught to that point you know I, I don't know what time people burn out of primary care but it would seem to be that time <laughs> oh my god yeah I burnt out after four years yeah <laughs> like no <laughs> 
Uh, yeah, I feel you. Um, so how are things different now? Like, do you want to share about what you're doing in the online space, what your programs like? I know you've got you've got a half and half kind of thing going on, which you, you can totally talk about, like, because everybody I feel like some people are like, well, I don't want to go 100 percent virtual because they like still want to do some stuff in person. So do you want to share where you're at and how you have balanced all of that? Yeah, I mean, so, well, in early 2020, I shifted the private practice to all telemed, um, and I didn't go back in person. So I just mm -hmm. shifted it. Um, and so that is, you know, I guess it's virtual, but, you know, that's my Washington State practice. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, and so, you know, it's definitely part time. There's, um, you know, new patients there. Um I feel like I'm not putting like a lot of energy into that. And I'm trying to figure out like kind of what the next step is for that practice. Um, and then for, I did create a separate business for the wellness practice. Um, and I did, you know, hire a lawyer to clearly delineate the two businesses. Um, and so I felt like that was, um, kind of like a really big step too, because I had never, you know, done that for the other practice, but I felt like it was really helpful to really kind of keep the two separate. Um, mm -hmm. And so in the, in the wellness program that I created, um, it's, I act more as a um, health coach than a physician. Um, mm -hmm. And I think it's pretty clear and, um, in the relationship too. And, um, I even have, you know, a number of my clients in that program live in Washington state. So, um, it's, it's kind of interesting to, to work in that relationship. And, you know, mm -hmm. some of them work with naturopathic doctors too. Mm -hmm. Um, so it's kind of been interesting to work with them in this way. Um, and that pro the wellness program I offer, um, uh, basically a, a six month program, um, and it can be extended. Um, and I do, um, I do, um, a lot of tests up front, mm -hmm. um, and get a really big picture of what's going on and, um, guide them through like a process and building foundational health. And, um, it's really interesting to do it that way. And I think it's, I do a big intake and, you know, definitely like, um, ask, you know, where their health goals are and, you know, what concerns they have, but it's really nice to not always be like focused on the one problem mm -hmm. every time. And it's not like, we're not just treating this one thing, um, and trying to get that one thing, like yes. to the best. Um, and I'm a good tweaker of those things, but um but yeah, it's really yeah, kind totally. of nice to like just see things in uh I mean I like numbers I like prescribing things but like it's just nice to like step back and just kind of see a bigger picture and how all these things relate and totally. um totally. And not, I don't know about you but like <laughs> But like, it's it, it, like when I was in practice and not having the full picture, there's like this, this frustration that happens, I think both for the practitioner and also for the client or the patient. And it's like, I feel like having that more comprehensive picture helps that so much. Cause then you can like tie in maybe the one thing that they're dealing with or whatever and be like, cool, like this is the story of what I'm seeing, like cross-referencing these different labs and being like, mm -hmm. cool, now we know what we're working on and we're working on things as a whole, which is just going to positively affect all of these other body systems and all of these other areas of your life and all of that. Right. Yeah. Yeah. I do find myself like, Oh, if we just had this one other test or one other <laughs> test, or can we just do all these five tests? And they're just like looking at me like I'm crazy. <laughs> um, but I'm like, this would just tell the story so much better. Yes. And yeah. I'm like, I can guess, you know, I can kind of like infer what's going on here, but it's just really nice to see um, mm -hmm. and always cross-reference too. So totally. And it helps with like the compliance too, or the patient follow through or the client follow through too, right? Because like, they like, oh, that makes sense. Like now I'm actually going to 
take your recommendation because I can see how it correlates to this thing. Yeah. 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 So <laughs> yeah, it's been, it's good. And I do think it's, it's helping my private practice too, in a way, like, um, I think it kind of just like refreshed that a little bit for me um, because that just was feeling kind of stagnant and just, mm -hmm. you know, so I definitely have, um, you know, done things differently there too. Um, definitely that. order, order a lot more tests um, and probably lost a lot of patients because of it. But um, yeah, like, you know, it's definitely different, you know, so what's, you know, been happening there is, is different. Um, and I, and I, I mean, I think I could say that just about, you know, I mean, we, maybe everyone could say that over the last couple of years, we just kind of look at things and do things differently, but um, mm -hmm. I do feel like it's kind of transferred over to like other aspects of, of my life too. Just, you know, just wanting to freshen up <laughs> everything else. Mm -hmm. um, totally. Totally. Yeah. Yeah. Um, do you want to share a recent win you shared with me earlier? Um, <laughs> uh, well, I guess most recently is, um, well, I, I had just like, you know, cause all this is like for yourself. So, I mean, like you kind of like set these like goals and stuff for, for yourself. So I just, um, you know, and I guess I have an accountability partner. So, you know, someone's holding me accountable, but I did have like, um, you know, this like kind of number in mind of clients. And like, when I reached that number, then I would increase my rate to like this higher tier. Um, yeah. And so I just kind of thought of it as like these different tiers, like, okay, once I got it this down, I can go up. And so I just, um, he has signed, um, two clients on at like the higher tier. Um, so that was really <laughs> exciting to like, you know, just bump up my rate and like kind of give myself a raise and, um, yeah. and, you know, they were really happy to do it. And there are a couple, and I'm really excited to kind of work with a couple in this way. Cause I, I do that a lot in the private practice, but I think this is going to be really different because I can like really help each other along the way and, um, totally. you know, help lift each other up and keep each other accountable. So, um, and I think they're like a great fit. They definitely have a lot of ways they can be healthier. Um, mm -hmm. So, and that's kind of, they're just like in this point in their life where that's what they want to focus on mm -hmm. um, and be healthier for the next phase. And so, um, you know, that's, you know, I, and I know you talk a lot about in the program and mentorship about, you know, who our ideal client is and like mm -hmm. finding that and, um, and these people, are, I, you know, I haven't really, this was the beginning, but I feel like they are my <laughs> ideal client, um, yeah. in a lot of ways because, um, you know, they're at this point, um, you know, in their life where, they really want to just take their health more, um, more seriously. Um, you know, we live in this like really great area. Um, and, you know, I feel like people work really hard and, um, they have their families and a lot of times like their health just isn't like their priority and, you know, and they're, they're kind of reaching, you know, that stage of retirement, um, and they're, they're not in great health, you know, it's like, yeah, well, why yeah. you spend all this time, like building your family and your, um, your work and you're ready to retire and, um, you're not going to be able to enjoy all that work you did. Um, right. and so, you know, that's, you know, I, you know, work with a lot of people who I feel like are really, you know, maybe they are health conscious, you know, especially in the Northwest, I feel like everyone is health conscious, but um, <laughs> to some degree, yeah, <laughs> to some, yeah, to some degree. So it's always interesting to see like the areas that they need help with. Um, mm -hmm. but you know, I do focus a lot with like cardiovascular health and brain and mm -hmm. nervous system health, um, as well as, you know, digestion and really look at kind of how that all fits in and looking at like what genetic predispositions they have 
um, and like how to really optimize like that second half of their their life. Um, I mean, I just see like all these like kind of early young people just either getting sick or dying or even having heart attacks or strokes like pretty early on. So, um, and I have those same, you know, personal fears too, you know, and, uh, and so I know that there's always this like, you know, kind of um, like, you know, this linear place, but um, you know, just like really trying to do what you can to reduce those risk factors that, you know, that are, that are there. Yeah. Um, yeah. That's so exciting. I'm excited to hear how it goes with them. Yeah, it's, it's cool. Uh, Cause it, it is like really awesome to be clear with who that is and then to right. see them there. So, right. Um, right. And to also have that feedback of like, oh yeah, people invest in what they value. Like these people invest, invested in the service you provided because the offer that you created was something that they truly valued, right? You had put that together strategically so that they would see the value, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, that's so good. Uh, yeah. Do you want to tell us anything yeah. else about your program or anything else around like how people can find you or... Yeah, so um, I can be found more on Instagram at Executive mm -hmm. Wellness Blueprint. That's the program I created, um, Executive Wellness Blueprint. The business is under Wellness Blueprint. Um, so that's really fun, you know, just to kind of create this whole new thing, this new persona. Um, Adrian Cook is more my personal on Facebook, um, but I definitely, you know, share some information on there. Um, so, and, um, you said else? your well, your website is wellness blueprint. Oh, I haven't. Uh, or no. Okay. Well, we won't do website. I'll link your yeah, Instagram for sure. I do think that, um, <laughs> that's a goal for this year is to, um, yeah, launch that website. But yeah, I have, um, I have the domain names, but just um, right now have the Linkly on the Instagram. Perfect. Um, I'll link that so people can check out your stuff. And I still, I look at those like photos that you had done. They're so good. So good. Thank you. <laughs> anything else yeah. you can share or add or throw in or anything at all? No pressure at all. Um. <laughs> anything else um yeah I mean I'm just um I think I'm just happy to connect with you you know because I we mm -hmm. had never met before and it was just like you know really great to you know meet you and connect and just to have like just just a different way to think about just um you know the profession in general and um mm -hmm. I think it's been you know, I think it's been really good. And, and I think it's just the time right now, I think that we're just kind of all thinking about, um, you know, just our lives a little bit differently and, and what we want to be doing. So I think it was just like kind of perfect, perfect timing, really. And just feel like fortunate that, um, mm. that those times, um, you know, collided, because it was kind of like, sure. what I, what I needed at the right time. Yeah. Yeah. I think that's super, super key. Cause I think there's a lot of people who are like, I don't know, is it the right time? Is it not the right time? And it's like, if it's not the right time, it's not the right time. Right. But like, there are people who are sitting there and they're just like, I know I need to make a change and like a change needs to happen like now. And so. Yeah. I definitely like, little felt like kicking um, the butt, you guys. Yeah. I mean, I, I did need to get my head above water before I could make a change like when I was just like drowning yeah. in it like I couldn't like see you know anything yeah. so yeah like yeah nothing was gonna be different at that time so it really did take a lot to get to the point to where like okay um I I need to do things differently yeah. um but you know I think some people could make a change during that but like it's <laughs> too, too much too much yeah. Um, yeah. so I felt like it really did take, like, I needed to like step out of that and then like 
be able to like accept something else Mm -hmm. um because in the thick of it it was just too you know I needed to get out of that and then I could have some space for something new um Mm -hmm. because during that like it's hard to take on anything else totally so much distraction Um, and just additional stress and all of that yeah yeah so, yeah. But yeah. So I and felt like it sometimes it's perfect. It's timing. hard to like balance that too. Yeah. Sometimes of being like, okay, like, is, is this an excuse or is this like legit? Like, am I le- like, do I legit not have like the time, the resources, the energy, or whatever? Or is it just like, am I just staying stuck in like the same thing because it like kind of feels comfortable, even though it's super uncomfortable, but it's like more comfortable than this other thing. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's like, mm-hmm. it's, I think we have this way of like negotiating with ourselves all the time, especially when it's like, when it comes to really challenging ourselves to step outside of our comfort zone. But yeah, I think it's all, it's up to us in the end of like where we're at and like what we can handle. <laughs> yeah, yeah. 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 So if it's not the right time, it's not, but, um, but yeah, I think it definitely, um, was more than I like could anticipate too, which was really mm. cool. Mm. Like the mentorship. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um. Yeah. I mean, you kind of can say that about different things too. Like you don't really know what you're going to get into until you're like in it, but it was definitely yeah. like, surprising and like there was like good surprises and like wow this is like really cool stuff and um you know stuff I never like heard about or learned before and Mm. just I love hearing just different people's thoughts on things and you know not just other naturopaths and Mm -hmm. um I think that part was like just really nice because um I always just working with these other you know, just colleagues that were kind of more like me and had same mm-hmm. experience. So it's nice to, yeah. you know, just hear yeah. different ways of um, thinking about things. I think that was the biggest thing for me is just to really get outside of the box yeah. and um, yeah. envision something different. And, um, you know, just the tools that you were able to provide were really helpful in that mm-hmm. way. Thank you. Thanks for showing up. Thanks for doing the work. Thanks for always asking excellent questions. You always had like these really awesome questions in office hours. (laughs) Thank you. All right. Thanks for hanging out. Um, If you guys have any questions at all, like feel free to drop them in the comments. We can tag Adrian. I'll drop her contact, her Instagram contact. If you guys want to check out her stuff, what she's doing, what she's created. And um, yeah, I appreciate your time. I appreciate your follow through. I'm so excited that things just continue to happen for you and that, yeah, you're you're doing what you want to be doing. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Have a beautiful rest of your day. Thanks. You too. Bye. Bye Bye-bye.